Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach everybody how to do medications when a pet needs it three times a day, which is TID, and it's also every eight hours. So I took this clipboard and I just filled out what um, my dog would get. So again, I made sure he had a label, I put the date in there, or the weight, no ease up, neck band, I put the dates and filled out the dates. ER information I filled out, it was the same. CPR, he's in a run. Potty treats or any time. And then right here is the important part where it says meds. So he's gonna get tramadol, one tab, BID. He's gonna get gabapentin, um, one tab, TID. He's gonna get at eight, four, and at 12 at night. And ICU is gonna help out with that. And then he also has Remadil and he gets a half a tab only in the morning. And I went and highlighted each of that throughout his stay. I did make a mistake here, so I just exit out in um, Expo Marker. And then down here I did the same thing where it says meds, and I also filled out all of this. You'll notice that for Tramadol, I did say it's a controlled drug, so that will have to go inside a lockbox in ICU. Right here, we have these cards that says that patient's on medication and it's in the lockbox and that normally just gets clipped in at the very top. The other important thing to remember when animals have medications that are three times a day is to put it up here. So I just, this is in our kitchen on the cabinet, I just put Sammy and he has meds TID and then you can just refer back to the chart to see which medications are TID and at what times. The other thing I did was on our feeding board I put him on the side for the run and I put his name, his exit date, his feeding directions, and then again right here, I pretty much filled out everything again. I put tramadol, it's a controlled drug, gabapentin, TID, and I put the times. And then also for Remedel, I put that what it was, special notes or NA, and then my initials. Okay, next because we are on because Sammy is on a controlled substance tramadol. You have to write it on this clipboard that's by the oxygen tank in ICU. You fill out the date, um, patient's name, owner's name, whatever medications, the number of tablets the pet had when it came in, and however many tablets you're taking, and a witness has to sign off on you. And then this is where you fill it out. Okay, This is the lockbox that is in ICU. The keys are in this drawer over here, right here, right there in the corner, nope, right there, that's where the keys are, so you just grab them and go unlock the box. In ICU, you will see a giant window, you need to write the patient's name, location, meds, and what times they need to be given, and the check-in and out dates that they are boarding with us. Now we're going to go to part two of this video where you can learn how to fill out ICU treatment sheets. Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn um, what to do in the event a patient is boarding with us and they need medication overnight. And so it's something that ICU is going to be helping us with, whether it's medication, walks, or just checking on them overnight. So what I have here is I have our treatment sheets that ICU uses. They have a yellow one and then they have a white one. The yellow one's for referrals and the white one is for um, if they're our client. At the top here, we'll, I'll use the white one as an example because they're both the same. So the top here is where we put our labels. So whatever patient is needing the treatment, you're gonna place the label on like that. Right here is where you can notate if they are um, aggressive, you can notate if they are, if you need to wear gloves, sling walk them, or if they need an e-collar. Typically, boarding doesn't use any of these, but those are what they are, and you would highlight them if any of those are needed. So you would just highlight it like that. Um, and then right here is where you put the date that they are being admitted. So let's just use today's date and we would write 10, 8, 19. And then on this line right here, you would either write the same date or you would write 
whatever date it was. Typically, if they are boarding with us, we're gonna go ahead and make this treatment sheet through their entire stay. So if they're staying five nights, we'll make five of these. If they're staying 10, we'll make 10 of these. Sometimes what I will do is I'll go ahead and I will, again, to the side, write when they are going home. Just so it's clear that ICU is aware they're gonna be staying for a long time. In this box right here, where it says CPR and DNR, you're going to highlight whichever one it is. So if it's CPR, you would highlight that. If it's the other one, you're gonna highlight that. The next thing is your contact information, which you would fill that out. And then the current weight, ICU likes it if you do in pounds and in kicks. This next line where it says IVC date and location, that's for an IV catheter. Boarding patients will not have those, so it's not something you have to worry about. Same thing for admitting doctor. Now, attending doctor is where you would write whichever doctor is in ICU. So you would have to ask one of the ICU technicians. The next line down where it says problem, that's what you're going to fill out whatever ICU is responsible for. So in this case, let's just say that this patient needs medication at... 11 p.m. So you're going to say patient needs tramadol at 11 p.m. And then you can also to the side write in runs. That way they know what location this pet is in. And then right down here, you're going to fill out the medication name. So we're going to say it's tramadol. They like to know the milligram, so um, it's 50. And then you would say uh, one tab uh, TID. And TID means every eight hours. So if it needs it at 11 p.m., you're going to highlight 11, just like that. And you can go ahead and highlight this box as well. And then on the other times when boarding's responsible for it, you're going to just write boarding. So if it's due every eight hours, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boarding is responsible to give it at 7 a.m. and at 3 p.m. Like that, okay? And then also, if you look down here, it says the treatment sheet was prepared by. We're gonna go ahead and write my name. And then, the doctor has to get approval or sometimes you can ask the technician if it's something simple since it's not an actual patient that's getting admitted to ICU. If you flip it over on the back, um, you will see where you, the monitoring is at, feeding directions and walks. It's the same thing as our yellow paper here, same exact thing. Um, so if ICU does need to monitor the pet overnight, again, you would just you would just highlight attitude and then whatever time they need to check on the pet. If ICU is responsible feeding for feeding, again, you would just highlight whatever times. And if they are responsible for walks, again, you would highlight the time and then communicate that with the ICU technician that you are speaking to. So, and that's how you fill out a treatment sheet. So, and again, you would have to fill out however many nights that they're staying with us. So if they're staying two nights, then you need to make two treatment sheets. If they're staying five nights, you need to make five. The other parts to this when a boarder needs something done by the ICU team is you need to make sure that you send a detailed email out. The email needs to include a check-in and check-out dates they need to include the location, so wherever the pet is located in the hospital. It also needs to include what ICU is responsible for, so whether that's medications, walks, feedings, um, monitoring the attitude, whatever it is, it needs to be included in the email. As well as whoever you um, spoke to during that day and who you communicated that to. Um, the other thing that we need to do is write it on the ICU mirror. So when you go into ICU, you'll see a giant clear window that looks out to treatment. You're going to write it on the mirror 
Um, again, the pet's name, check-in date, when it's leaving, what and what needs to happen. That way it's clear across the board. There's no questions. Um, I think that's it. Um, let's see. Yes. So if you guys have any questions regarding this video or if I missed anything, please don't be afraid to reach back out to me. Uh, but I think I simplified it and at least I got the big things for you. So that's it. This is the window that is in ICU and where you write the information at.